Hey there, this is Lana, the Comedian Medium, and I am bringing you your, I gotta pull some cards out and shuffle again, um, your Capricorn Love and Relationship Reading for 2020. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, past life regression, I do all of it. Um, I uh, am also starting Zoom meetings for people who are wanting mentoring. I haven't mentioned it on all of my uh, on all of my readings uh, so far, so I have to remember to read to mention that. Um, I've already got one full class already. Um, it's more of a how to protect yourself, how to you know stay positive, how to stuff that I have found that works for me since I've been reading for twenty five years. And also, I see what in my job every day when I'm in it, <laughs> not in it right now, uh, 550 to 1,000 people a week. And I'm still not crazy as an empath because sometimes we pick up their energy. I've learned how to control it. So with that said, um, also visit um, Infinite Soul Vibrations. You can buy really cool jewelry. I always wear this. This was handmade for me. This person will hand make your jewelry for you if you want it. It's in pure copper with a really nice high quality stone. So I wear my, I like my smoky quartz. I um, I'm very, feel very protected from that. So um, everybody will have their own stone um, that they, they like, but um, that's one of my favorites. So, okay, love and relationship. Getting a lot of, in this month coming in, a lot of not necessarily um, relationship as much as money but the relationships connected to money so it could be somebody you know it could be your spouse it could be your boyfriend it could be your girlfriend they're making money or there are somebody in the past that's giving you money there may be money involved in um you know maybe you're getting money from your ex for child support or just you know what i'm saying i'm getting a lot of money but that's coming out of covid when we've been broke so a lot of us anyway okay so you know, coming into this this from May to June, now, most of us started opening up in May. And you had been stuck and you had been in this conventional nine to five type of thing, juggling a little bit of money, paying just enough or just getting enough to um, pay your bills. Well, you're coming into June with a nice big change. Now, I want to say you're making the change, Okay. You've got a, an aha moment mixed with weathering the storm. Now, this card can mean, you know, a little bit of sadness, a little bit of blue, but it also can mean that you're cutting away and getting rid of crap. Now, there's a woman involved, and it is an air sign. So, um, could be Aquarius, Gemini. Libra, I believe. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what card it would be. It feels like a more Aquarius, but anyway. Um, so you're going to be going through an aha moment, awakening, um, making yourself happy. You know, you've got a lot of choices. See, look at, there's choices to be made. All right. I want to say some of you guys aren't putting up with it. You know, you may have been sequestered with somebody for the last three months. It's driven you crazy. You want to like, like, slap them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that could be it. I feel like that's for some people. Some people said, you know what? Now that I'm free, I just can't do what I was doing before. I can't do it anymore. Oh my God, I can't do it anymore. So, you know, you're on your way to victory though. And you have luck on your side. And I'm finding this very interesting that this card right here is appearing in a lot of people's readings. Now, I usually read for cusp people which is like, I am a Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. I am Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn all over the place. And I understand that this, this appeared in the Sagittarius reading also, that luck is on your side. This is, you know, when you wish upon a star. Now you're going to get what you want. You may lose a little bit through it because if you look at, you know, the water here, yeah, but you'll still gain. And they're telling you to be careful. Don't overwork though either at what you're wanting. Okay, you want to move out? Do you want a new boyfriend? Do you want a new relationship? I feel like some people are filing for divorce. Some people are not just not putting up with it anymore. Um, and you're cutting, you're attempting or wanting to cut yourself free. So you're tiptoeing and making plans. Okay, um, you know, you won the battle. You may not have won the war yet, but you won, definitely won the battle and somebody's walking away. 
So I want to say for some of you guys, you're like, I got to do this differently. I just can't take this anymore. It's, but you're on your way to victory, so it's okay. But people are like, oh my God, I just, weary. I guess I could say that that's it for some, a lot of people in their relationships. Um, some of you guys may be also renewing that a little bit, but there's an aha moment here. Something's going to be re revealed to you. Something's going to walk away. Somebody's going to walk away. Somebody's going to, you know, just change their thought pattern, change their life, you know, and it's the old being torn down and the new coming in. Okay. And like I said, you got a star card. And I feel like some people are just stuck and they're wanting to cut themselves away. And they can, but it's mostly in their head. Okay? So it's interesting. I'm getting almost the same cards quite a bit in all the readings. So you had your fulfillment of wishes. But somebody, somebody, oh, okay. Somebody's, somebody's lying. Somebody's doing something. Um, somebody's jealous of you. Somebody's deceiving you. Something's not quite what it seems. So don't be surprised this next month if something falls away. Now, remember I told you about karma and it's the year of karma. A four, a four is a year of karma. And you're going to get your karma. If you've been a good person, you've always done the right thing. You haven't been selfish. You haven't been self-centered. You know, you're not greedy. You're not, you know, mean. You're not a backstabber. You're going to get positive karma to you this year. And for if you, if people have been mean and nasty and vengeful and they're going to get theirs. I'm telling you, I'm right. I've had so many people call me um, that said, oh man, oh my God, this happened. This It's karma, you know, and I want to say that there's a karmic relationship that may be coming to an end for you because you're finally seeing through it. You've been suffering in silence through it. You haven't said much. You've either put up with it or you didn't see it for what it really truly is. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, okay. And there's a moving on. I'm telling you there's a moving on right here. These cards are very accurate. These, uh, these are called the psychic tarot. Okay, but I also feel like you're trapped. Remember, I told you that there's then some. It's right here. You're being this. You're trapped in your own head, trapped in fear, because you're okay. What do I do now? How do I get out of this? How do I move forward? Um, do I have enough money? Like, right. and what if? What if? What if? What if? What if? Just do it, and then it'll be done and over. Okay. I feel like somebody's going to bring you an offer also. I don't know. And I don't know if that's a business or what that is, but somebody's going to come talk to you about some stuff with an option or opportunities. And it feels like it could be love. And it, Yeah, it, yeah. Um, somebody may even be coming back. I don't see a lot of that in this month because I've been seeing it a lot of the other months. But... This is more, I want to say, you're going to have a shock or blow coming in, but it's going to lead to good change. So you're going to be moving on and it's going to, you're going to be successful. It's going to be okay. Now, um, I also want to say for some of you, it may be mutual. There may be a mutual agreement, you know, let's, let's not, let's call it this quits for a while. Okay. Um, you know, I know Capricorn, I understand you, that we're very calculating, we're very um, grounded, we're very, because it's a, you know, it's an earth sign, but we're very thinking things through. We don't always just react out of whatever. We, you know what I mean? We think things through. I want to say this is one time that you just need to act upon it. I, I say maybe somebody's messing around on somebody or something or something's up where you're just in a, a change phase. You know, you're not transforming yet, yet. You're not transforming yet. So that person may not be permanently out of your life, but you are moving on. They may be moving on. You may have agreed to move on, both of you. Okay. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. All right. With that said, that's Land of the Comedian Medium. I'm going to be bringing you back your spirituality reading. What spiritual things you need to be working on coming up in here in a few days. Blessings to all of you.